for the team and the community that pulled together for a coach battling cancer. This says a ton, and I mean a ton, about the Colts' place. And if it doesn't bring goosebumps to you, then question yourself. The fans could sense it. You walk in there and you can just feel. It was like something was magic in the air. And the Colts could feel it. There was a real shared spirit that uh, you could feel and a real energy in the building, no question. You could really feel it last week. Something was going on. Coach Pags was in trouble, fighting cancer. And then you could slowly feel it building. I don't care what the scoreboard says. At the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. Then by Friday, the city was Chuck Strong. And Bruce Arians, the interim head coach, told his players, this is not going to be about snot bubbles and tears. We're going to go out and win this. No one comes into our house and pushes us around. But when the gates opened up, the realization was we were playing the Packers, and in the first half, it didn't look good. But then there was the moment when everything changed, and they were playing for the coach. Oh, my goodness! What I think they tapped into was perspective. When, when we play for something greater than ourselves, you know, a coach, a team, reason to propel us. Sports psychologist like Rob Bell says a defining life. moment like this can change a season as players think about how lucky they are to play the game. We're so grateful to be able to play. We have to put forth really 100% effort on every single play because we don't know when our last game or our last play is really going to be.